Hi. So I was in, uh, I think I was doing the New York build at the time and I got the bright idea that I should go and make the carnival over again. You know, it should be in New York because there's a carnival next to the governor's mansion. Not in real life, just in Minecraft, but I, you know, decided that we needed that really badly. So I was putting them in and I was thinking, you know, we should put villagers or we, um, we should take the barrier blocks that my son gave me and we should go and, gee, thanks. Um, we should go and put the, you know, we should go and take the barrier blocks and villager proof Disneyland so we don't have to have that file too. Because that is the sole purpose of that other file is um, the villagers being in Disneyland. Um, so eventually I'm going to talk my son into teaching me how to do his new trick because um, it's probably an old trick and I probably know how to do it but I just want to make sure that I've got him there to help me just in case I need it. Um, but anyway, there's supposed to be a way to drop down I mean to set up a dropper thing that will drop the, um, you know, that will drop, that will keep dropping mine carts on the track so then I can make it a closed circuit track. And then he says he's got a way to, um, make the mine cart go away again so they leave the ride and um you know so they leave the ride so the next person can come i'm hoping that he can do that here in disneyland and we will you know do updates in the meantime So, I don't know why this is all frozen. Like I think, like I said, I think he had Frostwalker boots and just didn't tell me. Because, you know, all of a sudden there's. All of a sudden there's ice where there used to be water. And he was there. In, uh, my son was there in every single situation, so it's just a guess. I have no idea. Um, so could you guys come this way? Come on. <laughs> okay, so they can no longer go back that way. <sighs> so, I think my son said that they're not supposed to be able to jump over the fence, but obviously they can. So... You know, we can't jump over the fence, but villagers have some different dynamics sometimes where they can jump over things that we can't. So, just in case that's the deal, I'm going to just go and cinch this up. Wrong thing. Okay. What? 
Ooh, mama needs lunch. <laughs> he literally keeps coming over and accidentally pressing the button so my uh, chair reclines. Okay, so we are going to go and take the only stair we have. And convince Bozo Breath here to go out. Okay, we're, we're trying to convince the villagers to go out. It's not working, but... Of course, he also said that they wouldn't go into the water anymore. They're not that stupid. They wouldn't want to drown. Yeah, that's why these two are in the water. Um, okay, so let's see if we can convince them to go that way because it's forbidden. Um, these guys still aren't going that way. Oh, well, he can't go anywhere. That's why he's not going. Did you two go that way, please? I asked nicely. No, that way. Yeah, but okay. Um, I had to be nicer to the villagers because then all of a sudden some kid's gonna watch this, and they're gonna be calling their villagers butts, and you know, it's not gonna be okay. <laughs> they might get in trouble. I don't want that to happen. Um, let's see if we can get this guy to jump down. There we go. Okay. You know, logically speaking, you guys should be going that way. Logically speaking, um, that wasn't actually the the word that happened in that scene. That that was from Star Trek. Um, one of the Ferengi was uh. What was it? Okay. Um. Oh, I can't remember. I'm so sorry. I, I remember the scene, like, you know, like I just watched it, but. Uh, oh, technically speaking or something like that. And he says, I don't speak technically or something like that. Um, you Star Trek fans will actually remember exactly what I'm talking about, hopefully, and know what I mean. Um, if you've never watched Star Trek in your life, I actually remember, I mean, I actually recommend that you watch it. Even old school Star Trek with with Kirk was good. I didn't realize that until now because I really didn't want to watch it. Um, I grew up with my dad watching that all the time and I just didn't like it at the time because 
you know, the kids at school thought it wasn't cool to watch Star Trek. So I didn't want to give it a chance. Kind of wish I had. But I was busy watching Dukes of Hazard and Brady Bunch and uh, Bewitched and you know, a whole bunch of different shows. When I got older, uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer was one of my all-time favorites. Okay, so I am literally trying to make it uncomfortable for them so they will actually try to move and go to the spot that I want them to go. You would think that he would jump. <gasps> Yay! Anyway, you would think that he would jump and try to get out of there because, you know, he feels trapped, but... He's like, the helper is here, or, you know, whatever the, the claw machine alien said. Ooh. Oh, and just in case that's how they got over there. No, you guys need to go the other way. You need to go this way. No, both of you need to go this way. Yes, both of you. I will open a whole new section for you. Just for you two. Go. Enjoy. Okay, this is not where you go on the train and get killed. Don't worry. It's fun. Go. Um, that's a little piece of horrible history, by the way. Um, I don't know much about it. I don't want to know much about it. And... And I hope it never happens again. Go! Well, see, Hayden over here doesn't seem to want to go, but I think you are a smart villager who does want to go. You want to go ride Snow White. one problem with Snow White ride. There are literally cats in the queue line right now, unless my son finally took them out. <sighs> so, um, I am really looking forward to 4th of July. Whichever year this video comes out. Um, I know the video is probably going to come out um, after 4th of July this year, but before 4th of July next year. So, 
Um, this year is 2023 and next year will be 2024. Unless some weird thing happens and we lose a year or something. But anyway. Or or maybe that Groundhog's Day thing will happen. You know, where, hey, maybe that Groundhog's Day thing will happen and it'll be like perpetually 4th of July forever. Only in Minecraft, hopefully, but... Um, yes, go have fun. Okay, so so far they're not coming back over. Well, okay. There you go. Go to the next area. One is easier to prod than three. See, and then they go and push Tony out of the way because Tony's a guinea pig. <laughs> you know, he's the one that they're willing to sacrifice next. Okay. Go. Go. Oh, I knocked him over. Um, let's see if we can get these guys out of the water. Can you go that way? No. Well, fine. I'll give you a reason. <sighs> well, anyway. Oh, good. We finally got... Hans went through a, a bunch of different names before I came up with Hans. Um, he he might be from Frozen. I don't know, but um, yeah, I went I went through a few different names before I chose Hans. Okay, so we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna do that, and see if we can get Fritz out of the water. I'm going to be up with all these different weird names. <laughs> oh, wait. I have an idea. It's a bad idea. Oh, good. Ah, uh, no, you're not, no, you're not going there. You're going back where you were. Oh, good. Uh, apparently not. Um, come on, jump really, really high. Really, really high. He's just having fun in the Disneyland swimming pool that isn't supposed to be. Oh, 
Oh, wait, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do that. Okay. You need to move. Oh, he finally got out. Yay. Okay. Now get out of my pond. Moat, whatever you want to call it. There you go. Now it's your turn. Oh, I forgot. Okay, I'm not going to try to kill any more villagers. I mean, try to uh, wound any more villagers so they do what I want them to do. I forgot. My son gave me a magic potion that kills everything instantly. So, I didn't mean to kill him. I am sorry. It's all my son's fault. I like just being able to wound them, you know? But at the time, uh, we were trying to get everybody at the carnival into... A certain shirt because my son decided they all needed to wear green don't ask me why I have no idea but they all needed to wear green and I don't even know if that's Luke's favorite color or what you get out of here Oh, good. Come on. There you go. Um, I was going to name that one Timmy, but I decided that that's not enough of a grown-up name. So he's Tim. And if he already had a name, I don't care. He's got a new name now. <laughs> now, if I can convince these two to go up. Okay, that's one. And then I will block him off from being able to... Go out. You're just waiting for me to screw up and take out too many barrier blocks. Okay. So this is my Disney magic, or as I like to put it, pirate magic, for keeping the villagers out of where they're not supposed to be. Because most everybody knows, you know, villagers don't like to listen. You know, you want them to go in a thing and they decide, uh, I don't want to go in a thing.
Well, go, 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 go. There you go. Now let's see if we can get. Um, Farmer Jake out of here. He can't be Farmer John because Farmer John's the one that is taking care of the zoo animals across the park there. down now. I've got three cats. So that's why I've got that mommy voice. Because every once in a while, they don't do this all the time, but every once in a while they go up on things that they know they're not supposed to be up on, like the sink counter, the, um, I mean, you know, like the bathroom sink counter, the, the, um, kitchen sink counter. Oh my gosh. You know, they just sometimes forget that they're not supposed to be up there and You have to tell them to get down. And and then um, something that they've been forgetting lately is don't put claws on mama's chair. Usually they're a lot smarter than this. There. Now they shouldn't go in there. Now, what we were going to do is we were going to go in here. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I'll show you my other. See, this is a light block. And it should. Oh, I had a barrier block. The whole area. No, not that. Because you can walk through that. Um, okay, apparently it's not going to let me put it in there. Um, fine. <laughs> yeah, that works. Okay. And then I can put the barrier block back in. Back in. Oh, okay, so I can put the light where approximately where I wanted it. There. And then you go to a different block and it looks like it's all lit up pretty. Um, I don't think this actually lights up, but it would be nicer if it did. Okay, they can't get into the water. I don't care. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, wait a minute. Um, technically, they could come and turn on the fireworks if they wanted to. Because I will show you something. I wish these trees were taller. Um, technically, if there was any fireworks in them...
the fireworks would be shooting off right now. Ooh, that's probably what I will do. See? But there's no fireworks in them. So, uh, for display purposes... I'll go and take the touch magic, put it over there for a minute. That's what I call it. I call it touch magic. Um, and we'll put these in there. Oh, look, like it's Maleficent purple. I love that. I love it. And then you come back here and you can turn it off again. Or you can... It'll take a moment. Um, is there anything in there? Oh, it's empty. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't very much. Um, so I think for 4th of July, we're going to go and... And have a separate, oops, have a separate, um, Disneyland fireworks display. It's, you know, it's set up. I just got to put them in there. Shouldn't take too long to fill. Um... Yeah, we don't want them to be able to go on, I guess they call it the friendship statue. Or, or maybe that was the, um, the statue, uh, in Dreamlight Valley, the one with, uh, Mickey Donald and Minnie. I thought that was kind of, you know, a little off though, because it should have been Mickey Donald and Goofy. But Mickey Donald and Minnie is good, too. Um, speaking of that, I've got to play Dreamlight Valley today, but I'm probably not going to record. I've got, I've got enough videos for Dreamlight Valley, so you don't have to worry about me, like, running out. I'm literally having five videos. Oh, dang it. Okay. I'm literally having five videos. I mean, four videos. Um, coming out on Sundays to try to catch up. Yeah, I didn't realize that I had left this. I thought I was all done. And apparently I wasn't. Um, so I'm going to finish up these and then I will end the video. Because I don't want them going where they're not supposed to go. That would be a very bad thing. But see, having the villagers in Disneyland like this is helping me figure out, okay, so if I built this on my computer... I was going to make this an actual world. How would, I mean, you know, would people be able to go where I don't want them to go? And obviously the answer is yes at the moment. It took me a long time to build Disneyland. A long time. But I think it would be fun to go and... Uh, publish it as a Minecraft world that everybody could 
uh, visit and see. And I mean, it's not perfect. There's even parts where you're looking at it going, what is that again? <laughs> but I still think it would be cool. Um, okay, you're not supposed to be on the fence, though. You're allowed to be up here, but you're not allowed to be on that fence. Okay, hopefully I will not find one more place that they're not allowed to be in. Um, okay, so we were doing the plant. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to stop the video. I will um, make another one. And there will be part, okay, I think this is two or three. I think this is part three. I'm not entirely sure. But I think this is part three. And there, there will be a part three or four, whatever it is, um, after that. Yeah. Okay, so I hope you're having a great day. Know that you are enough. Know that there's no problem you cannot solve or handle. You definitely matter. And I will see you in the next video.